hi guys how you doing i hope you guys are doing good i hope you guys are doing great because this girl here is on your roll like i'm doing great i'm doing amazing i'm doing fantastic as you guys can see <laughs> i was supposed to do a q a so i asked you guys you know to ask me questions and then i got this question that just made me say you know what i'm going to address this in a different video so this is not the q a but i'm addressing one of the questions that i got and the person is asking what do you think of ivd and bimbo's case how can love turn into hate into so much hate is getting married safe anymore now i don't really know much about ivd and bimbo okay in case you don't know who they are i don't know who they are either <laughs> so please tell me who they are i don't really know who they are but i know that the story has been trending lately on the internet about how um this bimbo lady she's actually deceased now okay so i'm even going to put this out there that nothing i say in this video is intended as disrespect to the dead or to her family okay i am just inferring from her story everything i know about her is what i have read on the internet not even by choice i think they just came across and i just saw them the truth of the matter is that when it comes to marriages and when it comes to talking about things that concern marriages a lot of people who have good examples a lot of people who have positive things to say about marriages actually shy away from talking about them simply because maybe number one they don't even care they're happy where they are so the rest of you can go and die for all they care or two when they try to talk about their story when they try to put out positive messages out there there are people who come there and start saying things like oh you're trying to shame those who haven't gotten married you're trying to shame single women you're trying to shame divorced women you're trying to make marriage look as if marriage is an achievement you're trying to do this you're trying to do that so when people come with such responses it actually now discourages people from even coming out to talk about it it's only the bad ones that have bad examples or bad advice that have the liver to come out and put their talk out there because they know that they will be well received generally okay so but it's not my case okay it's not, it's not the case with me i'm always going to put out positive messages out there about marriage no matter the response i get okay it is my mission in life to put out positive messages about marriage okay take it or leave it okay thank you now back to the, the main point <laughs> the year continues okay so talking about ivd and bimbo so according to the story she set the house on fire and she was pushed into the fire by her husband or we don't know but somehow she got herself burnt and then she died i think some days after you know from the bonds she got like 100 degrees bonds and stuff like that so she actually died from the bonds and this her husband has been an abusive husband their marriage was chaotic she has five kids you know the guy a lot of stories about this guy i don't even know where to start from like i, I mean i feel like i'm all over the place because of how disjointed this his story is and how weird his story is from what i heard about him he has been beating her he has been you know doing a lot of things to her he was the one that shot somebody in the club you know when he was a boner boy the guy is a businessman uh, it was said that she carried sacrifices this is from her family i be from her friend that she used to do sacrifices for him like rituals for him to get money she used to do a lot she's the one that made him she used to do a lot for him she used to beg people not to lock him up she used to beg people not to you know arrest him there was even a footage of him where he was in a, in a room with his wife and he was talking about how he, he's the one that I mean, how he shot somebody in the club okay and then the, the wife was asking whether his the person died point of this whole story is that the guy was very very abusive according to the family they tried to you know take her away from him several times but she kept going back to him um she was very young when they started dating whether she was 18 or so when they started dating she was always taking money to go and give him she really helps his life you know and right now the only way he pays her back is with fights that the guy is hiv positive that you know she, she's also positive because of him a lot of stories she has four daughters and a son a lot of very messy stories about this whole thing right and now you know from the question i got she's asking is going into marriage safe anymore you know what is happening people are wondering what is happening why do men turn like this why do women do like this why don't women leave why don't i've been seeing a lot of questions being thrown out there why don't women leave why didn't they drag her out didn't she learn from osinachi now she has killed herself the guy is defending himself that he didn't kill her you know his family is saying her family is saying that she's the one that he's the one that pushed her into the fire but she's the one that put clothes in on herself a lot of you know very toxic like highly toxic things were going on in that marriage as far as i'm concerned very very highly toxic things were going on in that marriage okay and that brings me to my answer which is this 
or a question I'm going to throw out there. Why are people quick to compare themselves to these very extreme toxic examples? Okay, why are people quick to equate marriage to this very toxic, as in obviously toxic examples? The people in the marriage know that it's toxic. The people around them know that it's toxic. The people that hear the story know that it's toxic. So why are you comparing that to marriage? Are you that toxic? Okay, because as far as I'm concerned, the bimbo lady and this her, her husband, we are both toxic people. I'm sorry, like I said, no disrespect intended to the dead. I know how we see things in Nigeria. Once somebody dies, you want to make the person a saint. No, and I'm not blaming her for what happened, okay? I'm not saying that she's the cause of what happened. I'm not saying that, you know, the guy is, is right or whatever. No, I'm saying that she herself, there are so many things that she allowed, there are so many things that she condoned, there are so many things that she participated in that are actually quite toxic and almost like, are you okay? Like, almost did not make any... In fact, not almost, it does not make any sense why she would participate in that. Judging by the story that we heard from the internet, though, I'm still going back to judging by what we were told, though, okay, so I am not saying that that is what happened allegedly, okay, let me just put that there, allegedly, that's what happened, like, she did rituals for him, she did this for him, it just shows you that that person is actually not as sane as the rest of us, okay, or as some of us, so why are you comparing yourself to that kind of person, are you a ritualist, can you carry rituals out for a man, okay, can you, can you be with a man who openly admits that he shot somebody in the club and you'll be dead asking him where a person died or, or is alive. Would you be with such a man that you know is into drugs or is into, into you know, fraudulent dealings, they've come to arrest him several times. Will you be with such a man? No, you will not be. The majority of us, we are not going to condone or tolerate or stand or even be part of such dirty, toxic things. So why are you now, why do people now see such examples and be like, oh, that is why we always talk about marriage. Uh, marriage is not an achievement. Uh, women should leave their marriages. Uh, marriage is blah, 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 blah. Marriage is not do or die. Hey, hey, of course I agree that marriage is not do or die. But at the same time, we should not make it look as if that is what goes on in everybody's marriage. No, it's not what goes on in everybody's marriage. These are very specific toxic examples that, you know, it, it, it does not even happen to many of us. Like many of us are not that toxic let me put it that way okay and if you're that toxic then you can clearly see where your end is going to be okay so i guess my whole point of all this my talk is that i'm just trying to t let you guys know that that's their example that's their marriage that's all those information that's coming out should not discourage you from wanting to get married it should not discourage you from you know liking marriage or wanting marriage or aspiring to marriage or you know praying for the best in marriage i always say this thing Look for positive examples and learn from the positive examples, okay? Tap into positive examples. I've said this thing before that I don't, I'm not against tapping into people's blessings. I'm not against it at all. I don't know why people always say, oh, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Am I tapping into what goes on behind closed doors? I see a man buy a Lamborghini for his wife. I tap into that. It does not concern me whether behind the scenes he's beating her. I'm not tapping into what he's doing behind the scenes. I tap into husband buying wife Lamborghini. So why can't my husband buy me Lamborghini and not beat me behind the scenes? Like, why do we always make it look as if, oh, once you tap into someone's blessings, you're tapping into the person's whole life? No. I'm tapping into what I can see. So look for good examples. Don't be looking at good examples and be looking at them as, ah, 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 yeah, don't, don't, uh, the one I keep seeing a lot is, ah, those of you that will be saying, God, when? Those of you that will be saying, oh, eh, 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 I tap into your blessings. Those of you that will be saying, oh, that you want this kind of marriage. Better don't want this kind of marriage, oh, you don't know what goes on, goes on behind closed doors. Okay. We, we don't know what goes on be, behind closed doors, okay? It can actually be that behind closed doors, he even does more for her. Why can't you? Why, why, why is your brain not telling you that maybe behind closed doors, Seth, if you can even show Lamborghini, maybe behind closed doors, she has, he has bought her so many properties. Why are we not looking at positive examples? Why are we not, you know, thinking good thoughts? Even the Bible says it, okay? Why are we not dwelling on pleasant things that are pleasant, things that are of good report, things that are of, of uh, 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 what is, I must look for that scripture. I must look for it because I love that scripture a lot, okay? So let me read from the New King James Version, okay? It is Philippians 4, 8. Yes, Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Okay, this is what the Bible is telling you. Okay, for those of us that are Christians and who believe in the Bible, 
this is what the Bible is telling you. And, and I dare say that even if you don't believe in the Bible, even if you don't believe in God or whatever, even if you're just, you know, going through life, the universe, okay? Even if you're here, you believe in the universe. If you actually follow these principles, it will still work for you. You know, concern me if people want to, you know, you want to be cheating up and down men are cheating because at the end of the day, when you, when you listen to these things so much, I've said this thing before, when you listen to these things so much, they start affecting the way you behave. They even start affecting your choice of men, especially if you are single, okay? When you start listening to things like this, they affect your choice of men because there are some things that you will think, for instance, now, you will see a guy who is not really good for you, right? But because he is not an IVD, he's not that bad, you will not be like, hey, let me just manage this one. No, okay? No, aspire to greatness. Aspire to more. Okay, so that if you even get something that is not as high as you aspired for, you know, you're starting from a good place and you only build up and you get better. My husband today is not exactly who I married, you know, 10, almost 11 years ago. He's not the same person. He has changed drastically, but we started from a good place. We didn't start from toxic relationship. We didn't start from, uh, uh, you know, trenches. <laughs> trenches, I'm talking about in terms of relationship, okay? We didn't start from a bad place and then get to a good place. No, we started from a good place. And then now we're in a better place and we're only hoping and praying and aspiring to more greatness, okay? So when you see such stories, when you see such things, stop comparing yourself to those people. Except you, you can tell that you are that kind of person. That means that's why you should not start feeling, oh, is marriage safe to go into? Is marriage this? Is marriage that? Me, I'm on social media and I show you guys the good part, right? I try to I mean, show you guys the good part if I have the chance. Like, I, yeah, I try to show you guys the good part, right? There are so many better things my brother has done for me that I did not even say out loud. Like, I didn't even say it, not to talk of showing it. There are so many, so in so many ways. Okay, so at the end of the day, if you look at what I show you and say, eh, she's just showing us this one, maybe behind closed doors, the guy is beating her, the guy is giving it. It's a lie. Stop deceiving yourself. It's a, it's a lie. And that's how I see with so many people's marriages as well. Okay, I'm not saying that everybody's marriage is perfect. A lot of marriages have issues. Issues, oh, poor. And that's because that's the way life is, okay? Minus even life happening to both of you. You guys are from two different situations, two different, mar two different families, two different cultures, two different personalities two different human beings that grew up separately even if you grew up together so you still have issues but you grew up separately you know you're trying to get to learn each other trying to get to know each other trying to even become one right even though you become one spiritually physically you are still not one in terms of mannerisms behavior you're still not one so you start that journey of becoming one physically and mentally and emotionally you start that journey of becoming one after you get married so that journey is not a straight journey it has plenty of corner corner, it has plenty of potholes, it has plenty, you know, sidetracks and plenty, you know, things that will just come up and you'll be like, oh, give me an fear here, like, is this what I signed up for? Those ones are normal in marriage, okay? But I keep saying, for better for worse in marriage is not you doing the worst to me. It is not, oh, when you do good to me, we'll be together. Then when you do worse to me, we'll be together. No, that's not better for worse in marriage, though. It means that two of us together as a team, we are going to face the better and we are also going to face and try and overcome the worst that will come to us based on us being human beings living on earth with all the challenges that comes with living on earth as human beings and all the perilous times, okay? <laughs> all the perilous times, navigating life basically, that is the worst. It is not you beating me or you setting my house on fire or you destroying my property or you, you know, killing me or whatever. That is not the worst. You guys cannot tell me that this bimbo lady did not see the signs all this while. They were married for how many years? Not 20 something years, I think something years. I can't remember how long, but they were married for a very, very long time, right? What me, I think, is this, right? She had her own toxic part. She was okay with some of the toxic things that he was doing until he started backfiring on her. Because the only reason a woman will go and carry sacrifice, that's if it is true, I don't know the real story, but the only reason a woman will go and carry sacrifice for a man is because she condones it, she allows it, she, she thinks it's normal. She, 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 in fact, she might even be the one to suggest it to him, okay? I'm not saying that's what she did, but I'm just saying. She might even be the one to suggest it to him, okay? So, life is not black and white. There are actually gray areas in these things, okay? So, analyze these gray areas, you know, with your, all your senses and discard it, okay? Once you analyze it, can I carry sacrifice for my husband? It's not even possible. Can my husband and even own a gun it's not even possible that what happened to you and kill who to shoot who in which house where how okay 
uh, uh, your, your husband is, uh, is, is, is uh, police will come to, people will come to arrest your husband, you beg on his behalf. They will leave him because of you. And that police will come again, and people will come again to come and arrest him. You will beg on, they will, how? How? How is that even possible? Anyway, I'm just here to tell you guys the truth that many people are not going to talk about, okay? And it is okay, it's fine, but let me be the bad guy and say these things, okay? Stop comparing yourself or stop comparing all these extreme toxic cases to marriage in general or to yourself, okay? Of course, marriage is not a do or die issue. I've said that one several times. If the things are not working out for you, if things are not going the way you want them to go, if it is becoming detrimental to your health or your life or your safety, walk away, sister. It is not worth it. Trust me, no matter how you want to give your excuses, I'm staying for my kids, I'm staying for my deeds, I'm trying to get something out of it. It is not worth it at the end of the day, okay? Let him go. I have, I have a video about this where I expressly said it. If things are not working out in your marriage, if it is becoming detrimental to your soul, to your spirit, to your body, physical harm, if it is interfering with your heavenly race, most importantly, if that marriage is interfering with your heavenly race, most importantly, then walk away because what will drive a woman to pocket on herself and say, I'm going to end it all. I'm going to kill myself. It seems, since you don't want to leave the house on me, let me, let's kill ourselves inside this house. Want to push a woman to that, to that level. Don't you value yourself? Don't you value the, the, the creator that created you and put you on earth and gave you so many things to use and impact the world for good? Why would I pour kerosene on myself on top man, on top a man, on top a human being? It's not even possible. I can't even do it for my children. Not talk of, of, of somebody else's child. I can't. Okay, so at the end of the day, you need to understand that there are so many things that happen in so many marriages that will not happen to you. But you need to understand that there are so many things that happen in people's marriages that is a factor of who they are, their personalities, what they condone, what they allow. It is not a factor of marriage in general. It is not that, oh, this is the default thing that comes with marriages. No. If you want a good marriage, go and look for examples of good marriages. Okay? Walk towards a good marriage. Walk on yourself. Be a better person. Have your standards. Know what you will not accept. Okay? Know what you, can, you will not accept. And it even starts from your parents. Your parents need to even train you well. Because I can't even imagine marrying a man that used to sacrifice. In, 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 in whose house? In whose house? My mother was not here. Hey! God. It's not even possible. It's not even possible. Okay? So it's not even how you, how you train your kids or how your, your parents trained you. It starts from there. What your parents trained you to allow. What you saw happening in your parents' marriages. It affects the way you also behave in your own marriage. It affects what you also accept in your own marriage. And that's why I always tell women to leave. Because if you're there accepting shit, thinking that, oh, I'm staying because of my kids, you are teaching your daughters that it is okay to accept this or the equivalent of this. And you're teaching your sons that it is okay to do this or even accept it or the equivalent of it, okay? You guys get my point. The only time that marriage is not safe to go into is when your relationship is not even safe to start with. The guy is there being a gangster, you like it because you like masculinity. You like a man. You, you, you like bad boys. You like bad boys, you know? You like bad boys. Especially when you're young now. Especially you as young girls, you know? It didn't happen to me, though. I, I can't relate, but... I know a lot of women say that, you know, they like bad... Me, I always liked the good guys. I'm sorry. I always... I was attracted to good guys who were actually funny, who made me laugh, who made me feel good, okay? I, I, I don't know the one of uh, a guy is maltreating you. That's the one you actually want the most. When a guy ignores you, that's the one. You, if you ignore me, in fact, I don't even give anybody the opportunity to ignore me. You, you can't even ignore me, Seth. But if I even sense that, oh, this guy I like is not liking me back the same way I like him, I move on straight up. Like, hey, in fact, I can't even move on, Seth, because we're not even together to start with, okay? So before I even get into a relationship with a guy, I must establish that the guy actually likes me a lot, like too much, okay? So anyway, I keep hearing things about people saying, oh, when, when a guy maltreats a woman, or people say generally, Sha, that when a guy, you know, maltreats a lady, when he doesn't really have time for her, when he doesn't really give her face, you know, that's when the women actually want those men more. At the end of the day, why are you now surprised that your marriage is not working out well? Why are you surprised that he's doing those things in marriage? If all those nonsense he was doing, those toxic behavior he was doing, was turning you on before, what is not turning you off? Why is it not turning you off? You better remain on, no? You better remain, go and charge your batteries <laughs> and remain on or you walk away. Okay, so anyway, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.